Hi, I'm Jason Gale, Managing Partner of Cyber Capital Partners. I appreciate your time today. So <clears throat> what we do is we take technologies out of the national laboratories and we bring them to markets. We particularly focus on those cybersecurity technologies that were developed on the behalf of the Department of Defense and the intelligence community by the Department of Energy National Laboratories. Uh, we have a contract with the Department of Energy to go and help them evaluate their, their portfolio of technologies. Every year, the DOE spends about $100 million on investing across 10 national laboratories on a portfolio of cyber technologies meant to advance the nation's cyber posture. It's a, it's a public-private partnership between the United States government and the 16 critical in industries, uh, critical infrastructure sectors. When we work with them, what we're doing is evaluating which technologies have the opportunity to move forward. How do we decide that? We, we have a criteria that talks about what's the pathway to commercialization. Then we very swiftly work to eliminate out those that uh, are going to require too much capital, that are going to require too many years to go forward, that have uh, too high of hurdles to actually get implemented. But what we're looking for in particular are those that are, you know, call them zero trust technologies, those continuous authentication, the continuous monitoring capabilities built off of artificial intelligence, blockchain, et cetera. Uh, we work closely with organizations like the University of Maryland and their quantum lab uh, to be able to go do pilot testing on the, the technologies, whether they're breach and attack simulation. Um, but... <clears throat> Once we've identified the candidate companies, we present them to our audience of 20,000 industry participants. They're all cybersecurity market experts. And what we're aiming to do there is to survey our audience and find those that are seeking to be early adopter customers, or they're going to be strategic partners, or they're gonna be resellers, um, that they see the technology as something that fits with their customer set uh, or their cybersecurity requirements. We take those technologies, we work with those organizations, we then go do multiple deployments to get referenceable accounts, making sure all along the way that we're doing independent verification and validation of the technology, making sure that the technology is going through a DevSecOps uh, process to make sure that there is less vulnerabilities added to the system than more. Uh, we see plenty of you know, entrepreneurs who are bringing a cybersecurity technology that actually introduce new vulnerabilities. Uh, it's certainly not the aim of the spend of the customer. And then we're bringing them to our sales channel partners, the value-added resellers, the managed security solutions providers, uh, the, the managed service providers within the industries of financial services, healthcare, critical infrastructure sectors like energy, critical manufacturing, transportation, et cetera. Uh, we've got relationships with nearly every federal agency, uh, certainly all the ones that have uh, cybersecurity requirements and advanced cyber uh, requirements. And then we've got key relationships with large and uh, large organizations, medium-sized organizations, and small, knowing that there's market dynamic challenges with each of those. So <clears throat> our, our process is to invest uh, a lot of hard labor into uh, advancing the technologies that the United States has already spent billions of dollars behind um, and taking those to market. Um, we oftentimes rely on further R&D funding by the government and we'll do public-private matches. So we're involved in three programs right now where the federal government has committed, you know, anywhere from 250,000 to 750,000 uh, to do further R&D around the technology. Uh, in each of those, we've brought in strategic partners who have already existing customer relationships, have market expertise, et cetera. Would certainly be uh, eager to have a conversation with you and talk about how we can partner up on, on uh, our activities. Um, we find we have a, uh, an exceptional return on investment and would welcome a conversation. Thank you.